Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you my Begonia albopicta in gorgeous little bloom and also the other types of begonias that we have in our houseplant collection. And this is our very large Begonia albopicta here. And I'll just walk back so you can see how tall it is. That's it reaching the top of the ceiling there. Very, very large and uh, growing sort of amongst all of our um, Dracaena plants here also um, growing like into a, a bit of a jungle. And this beautiful begonia has little tiny spotty leaves, um, beautiful sort of pointy leaves with lovely little small white spots on, which you can see there, very, very pretty. And it is blooming beautiful today, winter bloom, and lovely little bunches of coal little blooms all hanging down in little bunches. Lovely, lovely colour. It's going to be closer there. Lovely pinky coal colour, which is typical of the begonias with their little blooms. But this is particularly beautiful the way they sort of hang down like little lanterns. Absolutely gorgeous. And the, the lovely plant itself grows almost like bamboo with its lovely canes. I'll just show you, get closer in there so you can see how it looks there. Lovely sort of stems of lovely sort of bamboo like almost. Absolutely beautiful gorgeous and uh, some more flowers around here there look that's what they look like close up very pretty gorgeous beautiful so that's our begonia albo picta and now i'm going to show you the other types of begonias in our collection now this one is our begonia maculata which is a very common sort of house plant and you can see it's a little bit like the albo picta with its spots but the spots on the maculata are much more prominent look at that absolutely beautiful and I'm just going to show you, take you around to see how this plant looks here. We have it growing on top of one of our Shaflera plants. And lovely, all the lovely sort of leaves hanging down here. Beautiful spotty leaves. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Gorgeous. I'm going to be repotting that one in the spring as it's going to be needing a bigger pot soon. Just show you how it's growing there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have, um, to take you over here, our little begonia little tigers as they're called also known as the begonia leprechaun and this is a, a very gorgeous little miniature leafed begonia we have two in our collection this was i think this was the original mother plant that we got and this was one we propagated from a leaf and as you can see it's bigger than the actual mother plant now beautiful beautiful variety sort of lovely sort of lime green little sort of spots all over the um the lovely sort of dark greeny almost orangey coloured leaves absolutely beautiful and this was one plant that we actually got from a thrift charity shop a few years ago here in Ireland and I have to say it is absolutely beautiful now I've made a care video on this particular begonia they're called the begonia little tiger um, also known as begonia leprechaun so if you want to know a bit more information about this gorgeous little begonia do check out a video I've made called how to a little bit about this begonia, also how to care for it and grow it. Links to that video up above and down below in the video description. And then last and least, <laughs> we have here a lovely, big, beautiful begonia size mori. And this has recently been flowering. I did put a video up when it was in flower. Again, lovely little coal flowers as well. And it's just come to the end of the flowering now. And this is one that has beautiful, gorgeous leaves, as all begonias do. Lovely little white little hairs on it as well. And uh, very, very pretty, I have to say. Now, this gorgeous begonia was given to me by my wonderful friend Rachel, gardening at Duenza here on YouTube. A few years ago now, it's a small little plant and it's grown really well over the years. Absolutely gorgeous. It does very well here in our kitchen. Gets a lot of sort of indirect light coming in from the, the window here in the, in the kitchen. And also we have a grow light that we put on, a bit of additional light as well. Turned it off at the moment because it's quite, quite bright in here as it is. It does uh, very well there beautiful and also just want to mention if you want to know a lot more about begonias including how to care for them how to propagate them and all the other things do check out Rachel's amazing YouTube channel called Garden at Duenza I'm sure many of you are very familiar with Rachel already but if not please do go over and check out um, her amazing channel and subscribe to her and also check out all the amazing videos that she's got on begonias because I've learned so much about begonias from Rachel so I'll link the video uh, the, her channel up above and also down below in the video description. 
So there we go, it's absolutely beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a tour on our begonias, guys. And uh, as I say, we don't have that many in our collection. We only have four different types, but we'd like to get more in the future, obviously, when we get more space, of course. But I wanted to show you a little bit about, a little bit of the flowers here, while, while this elbow picture is in flower, and also the begonias we've got in our collection. So thanks so much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe for lots more videos on cacti succulents and houseplants and also check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle and until my next video